Thanks for being here today. This is our opportunity to reflect as a group on what you've learned from the Digital Media Creation Project. So my first question is, what are your takeaways from this project? Uh, I think the biggest takeaway would be, um, like, first of all, um, personally myself, I haven't really done anything similar to this. And, and it, it really offers a, a really good opportunity to um, um, to to showcase our skills and about learn more about ESL teaching through the video production we do. Uh, what about you guys? It's a lifetime experience actually. Working in a group is always fantastic and we could share a lot of things with each other and these things will be needed in future for, in our real life career. That's what we learn and uh, especially with these guys who already know so many things about media creation, we got to know these things from them. Um, I think for me, it kind of reinforced how important it is to be open-minded and to try to learn new skills and try to learn everything. Um, just because you never know what you're going to take away from it. Um, and I know like now I can go off into the world and say, I can use DaVinci and I know how to take video footage and make it look professional. And so that's something that's really cool. I think too it's just being mindful of taking a creative approach to an activity that could have been very like textbook. So um, to apply that to future activities and hopefully in my work as a teacher to be able to apply a creative angle or a creative take to maybe an activity that would normally be very rudimentary and just make it a little bit more creative, a little bit more engaging and, and fun. And most important is this is this is this is the experience we had for the very first time in our life. Mm. Yeah. Indeed, indeed. indeed. Yeah. This is the very first video. time we had yeah. this experience in our life. Yeah. We never like we even didn't know that this sort of things happens in a school. Yeah, we didn't yeah. expect this. <laughs> we never knew this. <laughs> well, based on that, what have been your biggest challenges in filming or editing? Uh, I think the biggest challenge is like we were what we're doing just now in the in the in the media creation lab would be the. Um, the videos itself is is quite hard to cut, edit, organize time to stick together as a team to uh, film, and and also it's like the um, we have to mind the quality, we have to do the timing. The students have to agree. It's a lot of uh, back work, um, more than you realize. Yeah, yeah right. And uh, another thing is like. Uh, since everything is new, there is no child. To, uh, for me, there is nothing challenging because everything is new. We are learn. We are seeing and learning. Seeing and new things are coming, and we are learning. Yeah. Actually, um, to add on to Milan, I actually think that because it was so new, the collaboration itself was a little bit difficult, just because there was so many options as to like the ways that we could go with this project, and so. Finding uh, the right way to communicate what we want to see out of this project, communicating what kind of roles we want to fulfill was really, really important. And I think applying this idea of making a film to observing an ESL class in itself was a challenge because we all had our own ideas on how we wanted to do it. But also we kept um, coming back to like, what is the point of what we're filming? What is the point of what's the story we're telling or what are we trying to say? And it's it's difficult to express that in a way in the film so that it makes sense to a viewer. I mean, I, th I think we know what we're trying to say and we know our point, but will the viewer get our point as well? So I think that becomes a challenge. You mentioned the group experience. In what ways has collaborating with group members enhanced your learning? Um, and um, you want to speak first? Sure. Um, yeah. I think that I, I have previous experience editing videos, and so I kind of know how to work around the system and the software. But it was really interesting to see the ideas of my group members and to, like, to work on it as a group. You know, because there's so many, there's only so much one person can do when you're doing a creative project. There's only so many ideas you have. But when you work as a group, it creates a stronger foundation, and you go so much further because there's so much more that you have to say as a group, as a collective, and then as four different individuals. Um, yeah. And then for me, um, back, back up to Megan's point, um, like uh, teaching, I know you're teaching, for example, you're going to teach a class, but let's not forget, that's a teaching team. So as working as a team itself, 
it's, it's really important to learn. Like you're working with a group of students, they're kind of part of the team, not, maybe not your colleagues. So like for example, this video project, in the future if I'm going to teach, I might offer them to work as a team. You use your team efforts is applying back to the students. Don't forget this. Um, for me, it's a novel experience. Being tech savvy doesn't mean that a person will be able to do this sort of things. Mm -hmm. I know a lot about technology, but when it came to doing this sort of things, I saw that I know nothing. <laughs> so it taught me so many, so many things. Mm -hmm. These are all new things. Editing and all the things. Like even even when they were telling me to have some video filming by myself, I was not able to do it. But we have done it. When we have gone somewhere, we have done it. But this this was a rare, this was a very novel case. And I think collaboration is just tough sometimes because you've got four I, um, ideas, four opinions, all valid, all equal. And it's a, you know, you learn, I think, in a personal, uh, speaking personally, I think it's you learn to adapt soft skills. And when you really want to push for something, and then when it's like, OK, I don't care, I'll let that go. And when, you know, something's more important, you kind of assert it a little more. But it's really an, a fine art of give and take, I think. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. So your final product is almost there. What do you think of it so far? Um, uh, I think I think I'll offer me sorry. Um, I I'm excited um, not only for our own project. Um, uh, of course, I think our projects in our group are the best. We really put a lot of effort to to do this. But of course, I'm very looking forward to looking at our colleagues, our classmates' projects as well, because um, it's a big it's a publication by us. It's our uh, sweat and it's our time. And uh, I believe if we show it to everybody, it's kind of contributing back to the ESL community. So um, this is probably why probably Saskia is asking us to do this, to give it back to the community. For me, actually, everybody wants to hear something novel, something good uh, to make others show that this is, this is rare, this is unique. And it's exciting for us that we, we have done something and that's going to be unique. And everybody likes to create something better. We have always seen others' creation, and this time we will show others our creation. Yeah. Um, to add on to Milan, actually, I think um, f I'm really excited, first of all, to yeah. see the final product. I think it looks really good. I think that we worked really hard on it, and to see all of our personalities come through in the video is really awesome. Um, but it's only emphasized because uh, for a little while we were very nervous about how it would turn out because of the time crunch and because it's something that's so new and then plus we're collaborating and trying to take into account everybody's opinions. Um, but to see it all wrapped together and come out in such a cute like little package is yeah. it's really cool. Yeah. I think it's looking good, but I think it's gonna be like so much better yeah. once we edit it and kind mm. of just make it a little smoother. But I think it's still great. learning. I think, yeah. I think it's going to be good. Yeah. It's going to be good. But like my final words, if like um, if any of my colleagues are done, I'd, I would say thank you for Saskia for giving us this uh, opportunity, and like this is going to affect us for the rest of our lives. Yeah, it's going to. It's a lifetime like, experience. Lifetime experience. Lifetime experience. Like, well, that is my next question. How has this inspired you for the future? Oh, oh, oh sorry. If if for, for, sorry, back to me again. Um, inspire me for the future. Uh, I would say. Um, of course, not only we learn, um, and I didn't expect um, this to be part of the practicum. I never expected. So I think if anybody else is watching, future students are going to watch this video. I, I feel like this is a very good opportunity to showcase to our future students who would like to take this in the future. And we, we, set a good, we will set a good role model for them, I believe. Yeah. If anything good, really good comes out of this creation, I would say that this is because of uh, Saskia, because of her impeccable, you know, the way of instructing, like do like this, do like this, do like this. Her, in, her instructions, actually, the way she guided us is impeccable, unforgettable. We cannot forget it. And we also want to say that we will miss you. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I think like Samuel said, it was a big surprise to come into the practicum course and to see this project because I was coming into it with the mindset like I'm going to get to see classes and just teach and like do lesson planning and then we did this. Um, and so for me, I think about the quote like life is a box of chocolates, you never know what you're going to get. And so this was a huge surprise, but 
it made me realize how important being creative is to being a teacher in the education yeah. field. And so it inspires me as also a music student and somebody who wants to be an educator to continue using my creativity to inspire others, to spread messages, and to collaborate with other like-minded individuals. Mm. Yeah. To be honest, when we first started this, I was complaining a little bit because I was saying like, what does a creative project have to yeah. do with observing a teacher and learning teacher skills? And like, it has, they're two different assignments and they belong in two separate classes. But as we went through the process, and, and I also was smug because I thought at first, well, I'm just gonna film my class. I'm just gonna film my mentor teacher and the students. And then no one wanted to be filmed in my class. So I had to come up with other things to film. And it, it really made me think about the mentor teacher a lot more and the class a lot more and what I could film, what's important, what's not. And it also made me discuss a little more my mentor teacher, her approach, her style. So it, it did really work at getting me to delve into, I think, teaching a little bit more, ironically, considering I was so opposed to it in the beginning because I thought they were very separate, but it really made us, it really made me look at teaching and yeah, made me look at it a lot more. For when you explain everything for the very first time, I took it as a painful burden. <laughs> Later it became a pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> So, and yeah, th uh, thank you for Saskia, like, sincerely. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much. Right. Sincerely, thank you. It was yeah. had a lot of fun. Oh, thank so you so good. much. So good.